Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the LAGO HubSpot new integration we just released. And this integration is very useful when you want to sync billing data to your uh, CRM HubSpot account, right? Uh, and we sync this information in real time. So the first step of uh, this integration is obviously the connection. So first of all, you have to go in the settings view and find the integration section. Here we have listed a new integration called HubSpot. So you can go through that. You can type a name. So it's going to be, let's say, HubSpot Sandbox. Here you have also to define a code. Uh, and then you have to define a uh, fallback targeted objects for your LAGO customers because we do sync in real time customers information uh, and depending on the type of customer, we can sync that to your companies or your contacts. That's the fallback object we are going to use if this is not defined in LAGO. And then you can see that by connecting this integration, we sync in real time billing information to HubSpot companies, HubSpot contacts, and we create also two new custom objects in your HubSpot account. The first one is the LAGO invoices, and the second one is the LAGO subscriptions. So I'm going to tick that on, and I'm going to connect my HubSpot integration. Here I'm going to find the, uh, the desired um, instance in my HubSpot accounts. And I'm going to finalize the connection. And there you go. This is a basic OAuth connection. And right now, you have the connection made between your LAGO account and your HubSpot account. The second step is obviously to sync your LAGO customers in your HubSpot instance. Uh, and we do that in real time. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new customer. And this customer is going to be named Amazon, right? I'm going to select that as a company, but uh, so just like you have to be aware that companies in Lago are going to be synced into your uh, HubSpot companies and individuals are going to be synced into your HubSpot contacts. So we can route the customer based on the customer type in Lago. So here I'm going to create a company. The ID would be Amazon Inc. And then we can send a bunch of uh, contact information. Let's say here, I'm going to say billing at amazon.com. And I can send also, uh, let's say, domain. So it can be here, amazon.com. Um, the connection that you created, you have to tie this connection to a specific LAGO customer. So I'm going to add a connection to this customer. And you can see here the CRM connection. I'm going to select this uh, connection we just created. And here you have two options. The first one is you can decide to use an existing company ID and bring that ID inside of your LEGO application. So you migrate an existing HubSpot customer. Or you can decide to create this customer automatically from LEGO to HubSpot. I'm going to choose this option. By doing that, we do sync in real time this new customer into your um, HubSpot application. So I'm going to click on that link. And here, there you go. We've created this customer with a bunch of properties directly sent from LAGO. And we also deployed two objects tied to this specific customer. We have the LAGO invoices and we have the LAGO subscriptions. So I'm going to show you how to create in real time a subscription in LAGO and sync this data to your uh, HubSpot accounts. So I'm going to assign a new plan to this customer. I'm going to, I'm going to select here uh, a subscription ID, uh, a subscription name. And here it's a basic subscription. So we have a start date, we are not going to fill the end dates and basic subscriptions with a recurring fee and some usage based components. All right, I'm going to assign this plan. And so whenever you assign a plan in real time, that's going to sync the information to your HubSpot account. So if I'm going back to my uh, HubSpot company, here you can find a new LAGO subscription. That's the subscription we just created, right? So that's uh, in real time uh, that we sync this information. 
And here you can find the complete information of that subscription. So the ID, the links, the name, the information of the plan. Um, and so to show you uh, the real-time integration, here um, I'm going to add uh, an ending at, which is the end date of the subscription. Right now it's empty. But I'm going to edit the subscription in my Lago subscription. I'm going to put an end date here and I'm going to edit the subscription. So now we have an end date on that specific subscription. And so if I refresh this information in real time, an ending at date has been added to your account. So that's how we sync in real time subscription information. If I'm going back on the uh, on the uh, company record. So let's say here I'm going to go back to my companies. I'm going to select Amazon. Here you also have Lego invoices information. So let's create an invoice. By assigning the subscription, we have a draft invoice. We can finalize the, this invoice so we can properly generate the PDF documents and issue the invoice. I'm going to finalize that. And so by finalizing this information, we are going to sync in real time the invoice information to your HubSpot account. So here you can see that there is a, a link of the invoice created in your HubSpot uh, connection. And if I refresh the page of that customer, we have a new record for Lago invoices. So I'm going to go here and that's the invoice we just created with basic information, the file, the, um, uh, the information about the amounts, and to show you again the real-time way of syncing invoices, here the payment status is still pending. I'm going to switch that to uh, succeed in my LEGO application. So that's succeeded here. Now the payment status is uh, completely paid. And if I go back to my um, invoice record in HubSpot, here now it's succeeded. So in real time, we sync this information. So that's how Lago syncs in real time billing information to your HubSpot account.